Uh. And look at Randy Orton slithering. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Hey, what's up guys, and we're back here today with a video on the on track this week, which is for the Sheridan the Tier 10 American Light Tank, and personally, my favorite Tier 10 Light Tank uh, out of all six of them now, I think, with the UK, uh, but it can be kind of interchangeably argued uh, what is the best Tier 10 Light Tank, uh, is for me, the it's either this or the Panzer Wagon. I prefer the Sheridan because of the Alpha and the uh, ammo count. It's probably not a problem a lot of people have, uh, <laughs> but for myself, I can run it. I usually find myself a little low on shells in the Panzer Wagon because it only carries 35 and it fi has such a high rate of fire for uh, the gun it has. Plus, I enjoy also having the alpha damage on the Sheridan with the 390. So, potatoes, potatoes, I guess, whichever one you prefer. But this week, uh, into next week, I believe the Panzer, not the Panzer Wagon, sorry, the Sheridan will be on track uh, for you guys to grind, which means increased XP and silver discounts for all the tanks in the line. So, is this one worth it? I think so, uh, especially looking for that first tier 10 light tank that uh, to kind of jump into that class at this tier. Uh, everything about it is fairly fairly good. I'm not saying there's obviously better camo, stuff like that for scouting, but just based on overall performance, you can't go wrong with Sheridan in my opinion, uh, especially with the gun. It has just north of 2500 DPM on this 105 millimeter. There's also the option to run the 152 on this, which I, I'm not gonna lie, I probably die a little inside every time I see a Sheridan running that gun. Uh, just simply put, I'd rather run the Derp on the T49 at tier lower, because one, you get a lot squishier tanks that are like tier seven and eights more consistently. And honestly, the 105 on this is, for me, Petty's turning in his grave right now, just too good to pass up. Uh, with the 152, plus I already have the Tusk, so the Tusk is my tier 10 derp tank. Uh, there's no need for me to have two uh, of them. So, this whole line is fairly easy. Uh, I, I would say the grind's not too bad. Uh, I don't have too much experience with the stock grinds. That's always going to be rough. Stock grinds always suck. But looking at them all, and now that I've actually played the like both T71 variants as they are now, uh, with the T71 CMCD and T71 DA, uh, both those are pretty good tanks. Uh, I prefer the CMCD, that's one without the auto loader, but they're both pretty good tanks. Uh, they can be a little lacking in penetration, both only have 145 on the APCR, but you're going to fire a little bit of heat with those. And they're not too painful because it's only tier 7. Uh, tier 8 is the M41 Bulldog, which it was kind of a shadow of its former self, which is a topic for another time, I guess, where we already discussed that before. These tanks have all been on the channel at some point or another, shocker, the light tanks have. Uh, but even in its current state, I still think the M41 is still a pretty okay tank. Uh, it's not bad, I, I don't believe. But it definitely, I, I think it can maybe use some help in some areas. But still a very solid tank and I don't think you ever have too many issues with it uh, personally at least I think then you get to the T49 which has the option to run two guns similar to the Sheridan and again both guns for that one I actually think are very 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 viable uh, I run the derp because I, I love some good derp memes and again like I said it fights a lot of lower tier stuff so more chance to pen stuff as well with that with that gun uh, so, for that, for myself, but the 90 millimeter on the T49 is probably more consistent, uh, for majority of people, majority of players, and the 90 millimeter is pretty good on that thing, actually. I haven't ran it in quite a while. I do put it on every once in a while just to kind of give myself a quote-unquote new tank to play. Uh, 
and it's a very very uh, good choice as well for running on the T49 and again it's, it's just a solid tank honestly T49 I, I would probably still rank a couple other tier 9 lights above it uh, like 1390 or RU251 even but it's definitely still a very solid tier 9 light tank that I thoroughly enjoy hence why I have probably I think over a thousand and fifty games in it most of those with the derp gun because I like having you know like I said some laughs but and lastly of course the Sheridan with the 105 uh, is just a treat to play uh, especially after playing the not so wonderful uh, UK lights quite a bit recently uh, jumping back into this thing was pretty much a good treat as even this game it, it was a good game very good game that you'll see the end results of this as uh, not really that close of a game but it's just it's a night and day difference with the uh, DPM mobility just maneuverability of this thing plus if you look at it on like the tank viewer on here you're gonna initially say this doesn't have any armor um, it's kind of sure it doesn't really have armor, but it does have the ability to bounce troll shots, uh, because a lot of this tank, uh, especially the hull, actually all the hull, is covered in spaced armor, uh, especially that rear deck hanging off, that's basically like a no pen hit zone, it'll pen, but it'll do zero damage, uh, is what I'm aware of, so... You can get away with some pretty troll stuff there, as you'll kind of see that at the end of this game, but uh, it's just an excellent vehicle. It really is. Uh, I don't like to just talk things up too much, but there's a reason it's my favorite tier 10 uh, light tank in the game, and pretty much always has been. Panzer Wagon, after the several buffs it's received, uh, it makes a hard case, a good case for taking over that spot, I'm not going to lie, but again, the ammo just always lets me down a little bit in terms of the carry potential for myself uh, but both are really good tanks and something that's always going to be the case with the tier 10 lights uh, is their accuracy and stuff it isn't fantastic as we get for the second fire on the 279E I'm talking much about the gameplay because it's pretty straightforward and it's the steamroll of the game as we're just farming damage at this point uh, is the gun stats on all the tier 10 lights is pretty poor they all lose penetration much quicker than other classes at this uh, at this tier, uh, any tier really, I think light tanks do. So even at 236 millimeters a pen on the APCR, it's kind of lackluster. It's pretty much average for what you're going to expect out of tier 10 light tanks. 280 heat pen is tied with the highest uh, premium pen with I think the WZ1321, uh, probably the Panzer Wagon as well. I can't remember what the heat pen on that is, but I'm pretty sure it's the same or very close. So, you get some excellent pen for those. For a light tank, uh, it's still lackluster compared to other things, but with the mobility and such, it shouldn't ever be too much of an issue. Uh, but, you get a decent gun in terms of penetrating power, though the accuracy is always going to be something to be left to uh, wishing for with only 0.4. But, it's to be expected because again you're not really aiming for weak spots in light tanks too too often and here yeah we just saw bounce the side on shot from the 430U that one not so much but that kind of shows the power of the space armor on this thing it's not to be trusted but it can save your skin in a pinch uh, if you get lucky and bounce some pretty troll shots and I've bounced some off of these things before too that are kind of crazy because uh, it's not really bouncing it's more just getting absorbed uh, by spaced armor as you see the post battle results very solid easy easy going game <laughs> nothing uh, too crazy in terms of actual gameplay nice just kind of damage farm there with 6500 damage uh, as you finish that game off on Kasserine with a nice ace tanker in the Sheridan but yeah if you're looking for a tier 10 light tank the Sheridan's definitely one to go for I definitely take advantage of the on track that's currently going on and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time and see you. Peace.